The video is based on authentic writings by Padma Vibhushan Dr. Gopinath Kaviraj and Prof. Amulya Datta Gupta. Parmehesa Vishuddhananda ji was a Gyanganj yogi who introduced Gyanganj to the world. Gyanganj's explanation about Japa, enchanting the mantra science. Japa science is one of the most accepted spiritual phenomena by all great Mahatmas of India to achieve a desired spiritual goal. The supporters of this science include Mahatma Vyasdev, Shukdev, Narad, Kabir, Nanak, Sri Chaitanya, Gambhir Nath Ji, Sri Bijoy Krishna Goswami, Vishuddha Nandaji, Bhola Giri Ji, and many other Mahatmas. The science behind Japa is not very clear to common disciples or devotees. As explained by Gyanganj, the details are described below. Japa has been divided into three categories. Bachik means chanting the mantra loudly, which is almost rejected. Upanshu means chanting with the tongue in the mouth, slightly moving the lips silently so that even the practitioner cannot hear it. Mansik means chanting the mantra in the mind very silently. This Mansik Japa is the best among the three. Before going into detail, we should have some basic ideas about Omkar Tattva. The word Om has been divided into three alphabets. A, O, Ma. These can also be called Brahma, Vishnu, and Maheshwar, and are also represented as Shrishti, creation, Stiti, preservation, and Laya, destruction. In the first stage of Omkar, called Japa in Bakhari, Upanshu Japa is practiced. Here, there is a role of external air through respiration, called Rechak and Purak, and ultimately Kumbhak. When Japa Kriya is practiced with the help of Guru Shakti, both our physical body and mind start getting purified. The body, as well as the mind, become toxin-free. When the body and mind are slightly purified, Japa becomes more active, leading to Mansik Japa. The frequency of respiration gets reduced and the cycle time of one respiration increases. Then the Japa Mantra turns into Nad, which means vibration. Various sounds are heard by the person who performs Japa alone. This is because we have several lakhs of nerves with numerous nodal points known as granthis. Within those granthis, countless chakras, circular saw-like structures, are present. When those granthis are penetrated by Guru Japa Shakti, those chakras start rotating at tremendous speed, and various sounds are heard by the practitioner, such as conch blowing, a blowing storm, lightning, bees buzzing, drum beating, musical instruments playing, and so on. This state is called Madma. In Madma, when the body and mind are further purified, Jyoti, or light, of infinite colors is seen. In that state, Nad may be reduced, and Jyoti becomes predominant. Now Chitta Shuddhi, purification of consciousness, occurs, and the inner sky, Antara Akash, starts becoming clear. When the inner sky is very clear and visible, then the state of Madma comes to an end. 
This can be compared to the morning when clear dawn is visible, but the sun has not yet risen, and there is no darkness. After that, the purified mind further advances automatically and sees Jyoti Mandal. If the sadhak is interested in the sakar, form, aspect of God, they can see it within. If they are interested in the formless, nirakar, aspect, they can see it as Vishuddha Jyoti. The sadhak is then embraced by either the sakar or nirakar god, and both become unified. These are seen by suddha chitta, pure consciousness. At this point, there is not much difference between the sadhak and god. This state of omkar is pashanti. Those who reach that state are called rishis. Rishis are omkar sadhaks, but this is the khada, or dual state. Further, the sadhak advances automatically and merges into akhanda sattva. This state is the state of parvar, which is within parashakti. The ultimate objective of japa science is to reach that state.